Hey guys, it's Chris from the Silver Symbol channel, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a pretty cool lawnmower that unfortunately you'll never be able to buy if you live in the United States. Here you're looking at the Flymo Multiglide 360V. This part of my yard's got about six to eight inches of grass. I'm gonna plug this mower into an electric outlet that's been adapted to work here in the United States. And I will cover why this thing is illegal here, but first let's look at the machine. You'll notice this thing doesn't have any wheels. It is a true hovercraft mower, meaning you can just push this thing around kind of like a vacuum cleaner, and it easily floats across the grass. Now you're certainly not gonna get any kind of mowing lines, but you won't really care because this machine retails for just about $140, making it perfect for someone with a smaller lawn. And take a look inside. This thing even collects grass. It's got a built-in bagger. I've shown you guys lots of bigger mowers, but unfortunately, if you've got a smaller lawn, there are very few options in the US. Now, of course, you can get a full-size mower, but they can sometimes be awkward in tight areas. And for many, the only other choice is to use a weed whacker, but unfortunately, you'll never really get an even cut. And that's where this fly mow is perfect. You can jam this thing into corners, swing it sideways. Without having those wheels, it is totally maneuverable. And because that cushion of air is supporting it evenly, you will end up with a surprisingly good cut. Now I know a lot of folks don't like electric cords, but for this mower, it's really perfect. It's got a powerful 1800 watt motor, but it does operate on 220 volt power. But this has to be the most amazing feature of all. It truly does collect the grass. Now I would say that it's probably not collecting all of the grass, but as you can see, this box was totally full. But it's easy to empty in your back end business in just a few minutes. And when I was done, take a look at the end result. No weed whacker or gas engine to deal with. This mower was perfect. So if you had a smaller yard, this thing would be ideal deal. And for your $149, this is what you'll get. The design of this thing looks really futuristic. It's got the built-in bagger that I showed you, and it also includes that 30-foot extension cord. Now, Flymo isn't new to this. They've been making these mowers for over 50 years, and they used to sell in the US. The real marvel is what is inside this machine that allows it to float and collect grass at the same time. It drives air downward while it's cutting the grass, kind of like a propeller, but then it's able to capture a bit of that airflow and suck the grass that it's cutting into that collection bin. And without wheels to get in the way, it can float along contours, right along a walkway. It doesn't really have any issues at all with the terrain. Another shock about this hover mower is that you can adjust the height of cut. Now on a standard mower, of course, you'd raise or lower the wheels, but here we can't do that. So you can just use this included tool, we'll unscrew the blade, and then these gray discs are actually spacers. Each one of them gives you around a quarter inch of height. So you're gonna insert them under the bolt and that allows you to either move the blade closer or further away from the lawn. Now this machine can only cut the lawn at a maximum height of about 1.75 inches. Now that is really short by US standards, but I think you'll agree, look at my lawn. Overall, I think it looks very good and I don't really even think it looks super short. This mower is so lightweight, you can pick it up, hang it on a hook, or just fold it in an upright position and place it anywhere. This machine is fantastic. I've used it for about two months. It's a blast to cut the lawn with, and it works really well. So what on earth is the reason that we're not allowed to have this in the US? Well, I did quite a bit of research, and it comes down to one simple regulation put up by the US Consumer Product Safety Council. They have a specific measurement about a foot, being able to put it underneath a mower deck. Now, this is a real problem for a hover mower because they're not able to have quite as deep a deck as a standard model that has wheels. So basically, if that government-designed foot can slip under the deck, your mower would be illegal and it wouldn't be allowed for sale in the US. And this is very disappointing because in the UK, these fly mow mowers are absolute bestsellers because they're affordable and they do a great job. But unfortunately here in the US, unless our regulations change, we're never gonna see these mowers anytime soon. And while many of my videos show you cool tools that I hope you'll end up buying for yourself, this is the exact opposite. It's to let you know about a machine that will sadly never be able to purchase. And I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up. 